Hello dear students, uh, today we will uh, understand the kinetics of unimolecular reactions. Basically collision theory is a theory which cannot explain the kinetics of the unimolecular reactions. Because uh, in uh, collision theory there has to be the collision between the two molecules. But what about the unimolecular reactions? How the unimolecular reactions take place actually? Uske liye humare paas ek theory hai that is Lindman's theory. Uh, in uh, brief uh, time we will be able to uh, find the final equation uh, as per the Lindman's theory and you will be able to have an idea about the order of the reaction at different uh, substrate concentrations or pressures. So, if you have got a reaction uh, A gives products, this is a unimolecular reaction and as per the Lindman the reaction has to take place in the gaseous phase and the mechanism of the reaction is supposed like this, <coughs> how the reaction actually takes place that is this is A, it strikes with another molecule A of the same type and there is transfer of the energy. Suppose there is transfer of energy from this molecule to this molecule. So, this will be excited, the molecule which gains energy that will be excited, that will gain, that will be having some higher energy and this A, it will be uh, left with the lower energy and there is an equilibrium between the two steps. Now, suppose this is k 1 rate constant for the forward reaction and rate constant for the backward process that is k 2. Now, out of these two one is the excited molecule A and the molecule which is having the higher energy that will lead to the formation of the products because that is unstable. So, in the next what will happen this A star having the higher energy it will lead to the formation of the products having another rate constant k 3. This is the actual mechanism as per the Lindemann story, but what can be the order of this reaction actually. So, Lindemann calculated the final rate of the reaction and that will be the rate of formation of the products and I can say the rate will be equaled, I will put that equation directly that will be equaled, you will use it like this k 1 up kuch, kuch is the numerator hai, kuch is the denominator mein hai, aap isko aise likhenge. k 1 k 2, k 3, upar yaad rakhne ke, ke liye mein keh raha hun, phir yahan pa rate constant 2 hai k 1 and k 3, so isko aap square karenge, yahan pa rate constant 1 hi hai, to isko aap square nahi karenge, concentration ko leke, phir yahan pa plus hai k 3, niche bhi upar k 1, k 3 hai, niche bhi k, niche bhi 2 constants hai, lekin niche hai k 2, k 3, k 3 upar bhi hai, niche bhi hai, aap isko aise yaad rakh sakte hai, but here the 2 are multiplied, so you have square, here the 2 are not multiplied, you do not have square, this is the equation for the unimolecular reactions, ab is pe question aa sakta hai, now the question can be asked, here are cases, kaise, wahan pe aise likha hooga, aapke paas ek reaction hai, concentration bohat hi jada hai, if case number 1, if concentration or likha hoga pressure, in ki gaseous phase mein jo reaction ho rahi hai, concentration ke badle aap pressure wahan pe use kar rahe hai, if concentration or pressure is very very large, agar concentration bohat zyada hai, so k 2 into a, k 2 into a, this will be very very large, it will be greater greater than k 3, so you can neglect k 3 here, when you will neglect rate will be equaled, rate will be equal to k 1, k 3, a squared divided by k 2, a and you are neglecting k 3 because that is smaller and this will be cancelled 1 a and 1 a will be cancelled, this will be rate will be therefore equal to this k 1, k 3, k 2 this is constant and let that be a constant k and that will be a it is powered by 1 that means it is having order 1 the order of the reaction will be 1 it is first order reaction it is first order reaction lekin kab hai first order reaction it is first order reaction when the concentration or, or pressure is very very large when the concentration of the reactants is very very large but what if the concentration of the reactants is not very very large what will happen that time Mind it, ye question aa sakta hai, agar uh, pressure bohat zyada hai, us wakat reaction ka order kya hooga, us wakat reaction ka order jo hai, that will be first order reaction. Now, we will see what is the case when 
the concentration is I will write it here, I will write it down here, where if case number second, if concentration is small, agar concentration ya pressure, pressure ke baare mein zyada baat ho rahi hai wahan pe, because the reaction takes place in the gaseous phase, agar concentration bohut small hai, that means niche diya gaya wala term jo hai, addition mein aap isko uh, neglect kar sakte hai, that is K to A, jab ye term small hai concentration A, so K to A in will be, K to A will be smaller than the K3, so that means you can this time neglect K to A, therefore what will be rate, rate will be equal to that time what will be rate that will be equal to K1 K3 A squared divided by you are neglecting K to A this time divided by K3, K3 K3 will cancel therefore rate will be equal to K1 into A square. So, since this is squared, so it is second order reaction. So, this is second order reaction. So, question kya asakta hai, if the concentration or pressure is very very small, the reaction follows a second order kinetics, its order is 2. If the concentration or pressure is very very large, the reaction follows a first order kinetics. A, ek to yahan pe aise question asakta hai, dusra humne yahan pe ye bhi sikha, order of the reaction that depends upon the conditions, external conditions, change of the condition, if you are changing the pressure, if you are changing the concentration, order of the reaction also changes. Suppose the order of the reaction is 1, it is first order reaction when the concentration or pressure is very very large and order of the reaction is 2 when the concentration or pressure is very very small. For the intermediate concentrations or intermediate pressures, you can use directly this equation. So, this is all about the Lindman's theory, you can solve the numericals now. Thank you.